The European Parliament has long supported the right of patients to get medical treatment in a member state other than their own and then to be reimbursed fully or partially the cost of that treatment from their own national health authority. The principle of so-called patient mobility was established several years ago by the European Court of Justice. Since then, MEPs and member states have been trying to agree legislation that codifies that judgment and clarifies the extent of patients' rights. This week here in Brussels, the Parliament's Environment and Public Health Committee has been voting on a report by French MEP Françoise Grosse-Tête. This is what's known as the second reading of the report, which means that member states in the Council didn't fully accept the Parliament's first report and asked MEPs to think again. So what concerns have member states had about this legislation? Member states have basically been concerned about how this affects social security budgets. As you know, in all member states there are budget deficits which are hard to bear, and this is essentially the reason why some member states are worried about this directive. Under the Parliament's proposed legislation, patients will have a right to claim reimbursement for simple treatments carried out abroad without seeking prior authorization from their national health authority. The draft legislation also proposes the establishment of national contact points in each member state to help patients and inform them of their rights. The guiding principle throughout for Madame Grosse-Tête has been to ensure equality of opportunity for all, regardless of financial means. This directive has been created for all European citizens who have health care needs. It's not a directive that's been created to promote medical tourism. We don't want that. What we do want is that there is no more discrimination based on a citizen's ability to pay for treatment. In certain cases, member states will be able to require patients to seek prior authorization in order to be reimbursed for treatment abroad. Many national governments object to strict limits being placed on their ability to refuse the reimbursement of treatments. But the rapporteur is determined to ensure that patients' rights are not only protected, but enhanced, a position that has been the EBP group's priority throughout. It's true that this report is completely consistent with the values that we defend at the heart of the EPP, values of equity, equality, non-discrimination. And we are dealing here with health, that is really the most important priority for citizens. The committee approved the report by a massive majority. So what happens now? It will go before the full parliament shortly for a vote. But will member states accept this report or will they again try to water it down? Clearly we still have work to do. We have to negotiate with the Council. But I hope that the Council will take account of today's massive majority in favour of the report so that we can finally take a big step forward in terms of European health policy. This draft legislation encapsulates the occasional tension between the two legislative arms of the Union. The Council wants to avoid commitments that could have financial implications. The Parliament wants to reinforce its role as a champion of people's rights. Clearly the battle is not over yet. For more information on our group's policies, please visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.